Morning, it's Saturday the 2nd of uh, October. Just having a paddle across some land because I mean, clock's ticking, isn't it? I mean, 2nd of October, before you know it, it'll be bloody November. And uh, I mean, there's talking of rain later on and quite drippy next week, so every opportunity you want to make most of it. But thinking about drilling another field, it's only what, 12 acre here, but it's another 12 acre out where. And it would drill all right, but my worry is it's uh, talking to rain about 11 o'clock, so by the time I got started, I might not get finished. So, I um, don't know what to say really. But it's in real good shape, his land. I don't know, what do you do? Bella's getting a bit steady on her pins now. Come on, come on, lass. She doesn't like a lot of exercise. She's nine year old. She was a rescue dog. She, I don't think she's a pure Rottweiler. She's too small for a pure Rottweiler, but she's got a bit of arthritis as lass, so spends a lot of time in house. Yeah, she was a rescue dog out of all. Where she come from, it was a disgrace. Like I don't know why they have these big dogs in these flats. Um, went to a rescue centre, but they won't give us one because we didn't have a perimeter fence. And uh, but they got in touch with they took our detail, got in touch with us after, and they said uh, we've been offered a Rottweiler and we can't home it. Are you interested? So we went through to all and to this bloody flat, it was awful. There was kids in this flat, and there was dog shit all over it, it was terrible. How people live like that, I do not know, but anyway, that's up to them, innit? But yeah, she's been with us, yeah, nine years now. Brilliant dog, absolutely brilliant dog. I mean, when Rottweilers first came about, I'd be only a small child and they were like huge things, like they were gonna eat you. But they're as soft as muck, absolutely as soft as muck. So yeah, God, that's a sad sight at this time of year. Everything bloody parked up, no action. Bedded yards up yesterday, well, bedded a yard up for a, uh, a few cattle. And I think my dad's done his at other, far, at other farm. So, yeah, thinking about bringing cattle in. Quality of grass has gone. In fact, I think they're going backwards a bit. Card nights, so I'll bring them in. You know, a lot of people say, are you a month too early? But, are you? I don't know, if they go backwards, it uh, takes some getting that uh, condition back. So, what you think you're saving, you're losing. So, uh, I had uh, 1,400 pigs delivered yesterday and uh, real good quality pigs. They average 52 kilo, so, you know, really pleased. Look, really good confirmation and healthy pigs. There's no coughing. <laughs> really pleased. about people in the wrong place, the wrong time, as in 
if something fell on someone or kids in buildings on a night because ah, people used to come, they used to camp in a field at back there just let little kids run riot ah, I just got sick of it so I pulled plug on it um, but uh, you know these Joe Punk people they just don't look after what they've got you know it might still be here if uh, if they had a little bit um, if they just took a bit more care, I mean, they used to go. They used to, everybody used to be issued with a bin bag, and uh, some are, some people had skips. You know, they'd bring a skip or organised local skip for them. Drop a skip off. Hang on, let me just get to. skip here but on their way out they're just chucking edge you know it just didn't lay up people are thick yeah. and the last straw actually was we pulled some big sleepers out of them out of a dike what was making a bridge up and they're on side ready to be sort of gathered up and uh, I was in the yard and I could see these kids and they're out they were having a walk Chuck these sleepers back in down, didn't they? Oh, we... Bloody berserk. And, uh, and that was about the last straw, but oh, a good little number, really. We just had a bit of a dispute, me and my dad. He's a big rolling fan, I am. No, not when the. I don't know, what do you think? You lads and lasses out there, what do you think about rolling? This is drilling perfect. I wouldn't say it's very firm. It's light sand. Uh, there's no seed on top. Does it want rolling or does it? Uh, is it better open all winter? You know, get the residual chemical on and uh, and roll it in spring. What's your view? Because I'm a rolling spring man. You know, I think you cap it off. Yeah, it'd be a bit spongy and blamongy in uh, winter, but it won't sort of cap off and stand water as bad, I don't think. So, I don't know. What's your view? Please help. Because, I don't know. Yeah, Rebel. 
revelation took some finding some seed because we love revelation bits. I mean it's been out donkey's years. And uh, they reckon it's been superseded by all these new varieties, but it's still our best yielding one this, this time. So anyway, we've got some new seeds, so what we'll do with this, we'll combine this, we'll make sure a real clean bit, and then we'll get a dressing machine in. So he'll dress, put some powder uh, Done. Uh, put some powder on, uh, some dressing, and then we'll use this for next season. Whether we can find any new seed to do the same again, I don't know. Uh, I mean, we've got all the varieties we're trying. Sasaki is one. Ah, we need a bad way. Bit small grain. And uh, cranium. That's a new one this time. Everyone is cranium. They're crowing about it. Um, so, yeah, cranium. So we'll see if we've got some uh, cranium to put in, so that'll be doing the same, we'll grow it and uh, we'll dress some seed next year. It's supposed to be a very big yield, very good disease resistant, uh, so yeah, it ticks a lot, a lot of boxes. So. Yeah, I would say that's acceptable. I mean, there's a little bit of seed on top, look, but, but no, I ain't worried that'll bloody grow. So, yeah, it's one of them horrible afternoons, it is. It ain't gone bad. We're just getting on real slow, though, now this rain's come. I mean, yes, we've all held, out, held off a bit for one thing or another, mainly black grass. I know I keep going on about black grass, but we've got serious issues, and we are going on top of it. So if we start sort of jumping gun and neglecting and drilling stuff before we should, we'll soon be back to square one. But uh, oh, it's a miserable afternoon. Horrible. But there is one bonus to it. I've been invited to pub, so we're off to the pub at five o'clock. A great gang of us. So sounds entertaining. Right, I'm signing off now. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because. Only 25% of, of, of the viewers have subscribed, which surprised me actually. Anyway, you can do what you want, but if you like this channel, we're a mixed farm in East Yorkshire. And uh, don't think things too serious, don't run newish stuff, have a few calamities. Um, so, as I say, like and subscribe and uh, you'll get notifications. So, right, that's it. Right, bye for now.